Chateau de Vos sits in the center of France, in the Auvergne Rhône Alpes region. The oldest part of the building was erected around the year 808 AD and was later developed into a majestic dwelling. After witnessing many wars and having changed many hands, the building is now enjoyed by tourists and is available for events. Sitting in a little village of only a few dozen inhabitants, Chateau de Vos appears to be an idyllic location surrounded by peace, art and history. However, behind its thick walls and its ancient towers lies a dark, tragic history. The year is 1559. The Baron de Vos, Guy de Dayon, and Jacqueline de Lafayette move into the majestic home and prepare to start a family. A few months later, a young girl named Lucie comes knocking at the door. Lucie's background is that of a noble family that fell into ruin. She is asking for shelter and to serve the Baron and his wife. She is 18 and very beautiful. The Baron, upon seeing her, falls madly in love. The Lord would shower her with attention and would offer up to her his most prized kills from his hunting trips. His wife Jacqueline was furious. How dare this cheeky little girl come into her life and wreak havoc on her marriage? Her jealousy overflowed. But back in those days, it was unthinkable for a woman, especially a high-ranked one, to act against her husband. But this occasion was different. Lords and barons often had to leave their lands to join their king in battle, and in those circumstances, the lady of the house ruled the estate. It wasn't long before the Baron was called away to fulfill his duty, leaving Jacqueline in charge of the chateau and Lucy at her mercy. Now in charge, Jacqueline could finally fulfill her desire for vengeance. She seized Lucy and locked her in a cell in the tower, leaving her exposed to the cold and dampness and barely feeding her to keep her alive to prolong her agony. She would visit her only to dish out verbal and physical abuse. Ground down by the conditions she was forced to endure, from the fear, the abuse and the threats, Lucy eventually died on a cold autumn night. Nobody knows what happened to her body. It is said that on the night she died, a beautiful white glowing figure was seen on the tower by the villagers. Her apparitions have continued throughout the ages, and she was dubbed La Dame Blanche de Vos, or the White Lady of Vos. Her bright figure can be seen at midnight in the guards' quarters and on the battlements connecting to the prison where she was once held captive. Sightings have taken place for centuries. Sightings are mentioned in a letter written as early as the 17th century. In August 1984, a journalist, joined by a group of technicians and a medium, spent a night in the castle. At around midnight, they witnessed a luminescent glow coming out of nowhere appearing and disappearing intermittently for about 25 minutes. The phenomenon was caught on photo. In 2009, a team of paranormal investigators spent a night in the castle, and despite not capturing any images, they still collected evidence of paranormal phenomena. Why not subscribe to our YouTube channel for more spooky videos?